Hello friends, welcome. In this discussion, we'll be talking about biological model of psychopathology. The biological model stands on a assumption. This model assumes that the all the mental disorders occurs due to the biological causes or the organic causes so what are the prime body organs where disruption in their functioning can culminate into the mental disorders these are the four major contributors the brain the nervous system the genetics and the endocrine system the brain structure the appropriate brain structure is a very important for the proper functioning of whole body you know the malfunction in the brain due to several activities that is the lesson due to some injury some organic causes can lead to malfunctioning in the body and consequent psychological disorders. It has been found that those people who are schizophrenic, they have 25% less brain volume of gray matter in temporal and the frontal lobe. It means the individual who are normal and if their brain volume of temporal and the frontal lobe is reduced by 25 percent that may lead to schizophrenia so these two lobes temporal and frontal lobes deals with various executive functions such as decision making planning processing of auditory information etc there's a limbic system in our brain the structural part if there is some kind of injury or the lesson in the limbic system individual manifest mood disorders how to study the brain the science has developed the known invasive techniques such as functional magnetic resonance imaging commonly known as the fmri mri PT scan, EEG, etc. You know the neurotransmitters are the chemicals responsible for the transmission of information. And if there is a disturbance in the synthesis of neurotransmitters or the degradation of the neurotransmitters or the transportation of neurotransmitters, that leads to the development of mental disorders. For example, the increased amount of dopamine in the brain and norepinephrine can lead to mania related symptoms so the neurotransmitters have to be remain in a balanced state then the neural transmission remember there is a difference between the neurotransmitters and the neural transmission neural transmission means the transmission of information from one neuron to another neuron through the electrochemical processing so if there is a disturbance in the neural transmission the individual experiences mental disorders if we disrupt the movement of serotonin or the norepinephrine the individual is prone to experience depression anxiety or the mood disorders so the proper transmission of neurotransmitters is also required for the proper functioning of the brain and the whole human body the most important human body system for the receiving processing and transmission of the information you know it's a two type central nervous system that contains your brain and the spinal cord and the 
peripheral nervous system that contains the autonomic nervous system and the somatic nervous system disruption in the nervous system can lead to mental disorders some mental disorders due to the disruption in the nervous system the attention related problems the balint syndrome so what is the balint syndrome when an individual finds it difficult to focus on more than one object at a time then memory related issues perceptual issues attentional issues hallucinations so these all are the consequences of disruption or the problems in the nervous system the next contributory factor is the genetics what is genetics A genetics means when we inherit the disorders from our parents the proteins are the building blocks of our cells and gene encode these proteins this means if there is a some kind of mental disorder due to the inheritance that is due to the coding of these proteins by the genes the variation and the expression of the genes is the major contributory factor in development of the mental disorders sometimes the genes are varied or mutated that leads to the development of various psychological disorders so what this variation or the expression do so gene variation interferes with the neurotransmitters either for their synthesis for the release proper flow or balance so these genes disturb the proper functioning of neurotransmitters and sometimes the multiple genes interact together and leads to the mental disorders there are certain mental disorders that are found to be due to the faulty genes variation in the genes or the interaction of multiple genes that is due to the genetics such as schizophrenia manic depressive illness adhd attention deficit hyperactive disorders depression panic disorders and even bipolar disorders endocrine system also contribute in development of the mental disorders how it contribute what does endocrine system contains it contains the glands that release the hormones under endocrine system we will be discussing the ductless glands the glands that secrete their hormones in the blood stream so the hypo or the hyper secretion of the glands interferes with the proper functioning of body organs and if there is a disruption in the proper functioning of body organs that can lead to the development of mental disorders why because hormones are the active messengers they carry the message for the targeted organ okay. means they are the communication system and if there is a disruption in the communication between the brain and other body parts certainly the body start functioning improperly and that can lead to the various mental disorders now let us discuss some mental disorders due to the disrupted endocrine system for example the secretion of cortisol is directly related to the stress and the anxiety apart from that depression insomnia and other sleep related problems memory problems and psychosis are found to have a direct correlation with the endocrine system that is the hyper or the hypo secretion of the hormones so dear friends these are my references if you want to study more about the biological model of psychopathology kindly refer them and if you love 
I like the contents and the presentation style of this video. Kindly tell to others. But if you have an issue, any suggestion to make, any critical comment to make, or any other point you want to share with me, you can use my social media handles or you can write in my comment box directly or you can email me at formasujit at the rate of yahoo.com and do not forget to watch our next discussion on psychodynamic model of psychopathology thanks friends